this video, I'm gonna be talking about my five favorite accessories for the acoustic guitar. I know this is a very YouTuber-y thing to do, but I've never done a video like this before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Of course, all of these accessories can also work with electric guitar, but they also work particularly well for acoustic. Number one on the list is the Snark Air Clip-On Tuner. This is by far my favorite tuner, and I'm gonna tell you why. Firstly, it's USB charged, which is just amazing. I hate spending money on these tiny coin batteries. Another thing is it's so small and compact. Just compare the size difference between these two. So when you clip this on your guitar and you clip it backwards, which is what you can do, you can clip it both ways. You know, you, you just see this tiny little thing here, this tiny piece of plastic. It's also very responsive and it's very accurate as well. And pretty cool that you got this plane on the front that lights up when you touch it. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? It's got these three dots which let you know how much battery it has left, which is really handy, so it's not just gonna cut out on you randomly. You know whether it's low in battery and whether you need to charge it. It also has this feature where you can change the angle of the display, which is really cool. So depending on whether you have it backwards or whether you have it towards the front like this, you can just change the angle of the display so you're not having to move your head to see what the note is. Ad number two is the Hercules guitar stand. This is by far the most stable guitar stand I have ever owned. It has this, this cool little latch. So when you put the guitar in, it locks at the front automatically. It has these really sturdy thick legs and it does compact down doesn't go super small, obviously. It's not a really small one. You just take this off. So it's like this. Compacts down to like this, you know? And it's not too heavy. Considering how solid it is, um, it's not too heavy at all. So I did a short recently, uh, maybe I'll show it in a second, and I, I threw my guitar to the guitar stand. And, uh, you know, it wasn't super close. It was a good few meters away at least um, and I threw this guitar it was a cheaper guitar don't worry it wasn't it wasn't my baby um, and it caught the guitar stand I was amazed caught the guitar and it didn't fall over and I'm not suggesting that you should throw your guitars at your guitar stand do definitely don't do that but I'm just proving a point that this guitar stand is super stable. At number three, we have the Elliott Guitar Capo. Capo? Capo? I'm not sure. I've had this thing for like 10, 15 years and it's still going strong. It's never let me down. I love these beautiful, handmade, simple things, you know. It's like a piece of jewelry, it really is. Because it's a screw tightening, you have lots of control over the amount of pressure that is applied to the strings. So obviously you don't want it too tight, and you don't want it too loose. Um, you want an even amount of pressure, and this definitely gives that. And one cool little extra thing with this is it's so slim and so sleek that it can just sit on the nut, on the, just above the nut on your guitar, uh, depending on the guitar, but at most guitars it can just kind of sit on the nut and just stay there. Um, and just and so you have it and you can just use it when you when you need to use it, you know So I like that little feature that you can do with this at number four We have the para EQ by Empress effects So we all know that a lot of acoustic guitar pickups Don't sound the best, you know, they're not the most natural sounding which is kind of obvious because the technology works completely different to how a microphone works, you know, so it needs lots of EQing, and this is the way that I achieve my tone. So if you don't know about parametric EQs, it's different to a graphic EQ or any other EQ, is that you can be so precise on the frequency that you want to cut out or boost. Of course, it's important to have a nice sounding guitar and a nice sounding guitar pickup and a nice sounding preamp, but if you don't have a parametric EQ, somewhere in your signal chain, then you are really missing out. So with one of the dials, you can dial in the specific frequency that you want, and then the other dial, you can either cut or boost that. I mainly find it easier to find the frequencies that I don't like. So when I'm listening to something, it's, it's a lot easier to find things that I don't like than it is to listen for things that I do like. I don't know why. 
Um, so that's what I look for. I just go through and I look for things that I don't like about the pickup. Uh, and there's lots. <laughs> and then I just cut that. I uh, don't cut, cut it completely because otherwise I'm losing a lot of the tone. But I just cut it slightly. And that's enough for me, you know, that's enough to, to give myself uh, a pleasing sound on the acoustic guitar pickup. Last but not least, number five is the Zoom H4N Pro Handy Recorder. I'm not sure if this really counts as an accessory or not, but I put it in the list anyway. This is a portable, easy to use handy recorder. I've done a bunch of videos on this. Um, it's just fantastic. The microphones that you have on board here are just incredible. They're really, really high quality microphones. <laughs> And you also have two XLR inputs as well, so you can plug in external microphones. Um, when I'm going away on holiday or going somewhere, I always take this with me. It's just so easy. I mean, it's not, I don't know if you can fit it in your pocket. Yeah, you, I could probably fit this in my pocket, just about. Um, but it comes with a nice case and you can just bung it in your bag and just have it. Um, just in case you know and then I just always take it with me it's just really good to have a really nice quality recorder uh, on the go so there's lots you can do with this you can do like multi-track recording different instruments there's loads um, I mainly use it just for recording with the microphones on the top or I might use like one or two microphones and just plug in and just do like two tracks or something um, that's all I mainly use it for, but that's all I need. I don't use this all the time, but if I don't want to set up, turn on my computer, if I just want to do something really quick, you know, then I might just use this and just plug in, turn it on, press record, and away we go. So that's it. That's my five favorite acoustic guitar accessories. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite accessories are for your acoustic guitar. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.